everyone. It's Andrea. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone is having a wonderful and blessed day. Today, this video is really towards, or rather for those new notaries or the uh, people who are really considering being a loan signing agent. Today, I want to talk about the different supplies that you will need right out the gate. So let's get right on into it. And some of these items may be pretty obvious, um, but as I continue to work through each item, um, I'll give other suggestions and tips on where to get some of these items from and just my opinion on them, okay? So the first item, number clearly, number one, you need a printer. You need a printer. You will need a printer. I have a brother, um, 6200, I think it is. Um, I have a few. Um, but I really like my brother. I really like it. However, I do notice that people um, sometimes have issues with their uh, their brother printer. I have, like I said, the 6200. It is the straight black and white printer. It does not have a scanner attached to it. Um, and I've never had any issues. However, my mom, on the other hand, has the same printer and she had issues and she went through the brother support or tech support, I think it is, and they were wonderful. They were wonderful. They And on one of her uh, brother printers, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So they ended up sending her not one, but two brand new printers in the box. So when you're thinking about printers, consider a brother. Um, do your research on it. This is just my personal opinion, but do your research on it. Uh, I would not necessarily advise the all-in-one printers. Um, and the reason that is, is because I'm told that once one thing breaks, it oftentimes messes up the whole thing. So for example, if you get an all-in-one printer, then that means it includes, I think, a copier, printer, scanner, and I think a fax machine. And I've, I've been told that if, you, if one of those items breaks, then the whole thing is not any good. The other downside to getting an all-in-one printer is that it prints slower. However, if you find one and it's a really good deal, or if you are using this printer outside of being a loan signing agent, and you're using it for other things as well, you might find that all-in-one printer works for you. So that's just my opinion, but do your research on it, figure out what works best for you. Now, if you've been in searching for a printer, yeah, that can be kind of hard to find right now. Since um, the whole pandemic, printer prices have gone up <laughs> and they are scarce. So don't be afraid to look on Facebook Market, Craigslist. Um, I don't know if people still use eBay, but whatever. Um, don't be afraid to stop by your local pawn shops. Um, yeah, like I said, printers right now can be scarce, so you get what you can get. And if you find that it works and it's sitting in the pawn shop, then hey, get it, get it. Uh, but obviously you can also get them from Amazon if they're in stock, um, Staples, Office Max, things, places like that. Um, but the other thing is, don't sleep on leasing the printers either. My friend has leased a printer huge huge printer holds i don't know it, it is a office type printer and it prints really really quickly really quickly and it has a scanner attached like i said it's the office grade like if you um worked at a big time office corporate job or something like that i'm talking about that kind of printer you can lease those and she only pays like 125 a month and that they take care of all the toner. They take care of any kind of repairs. Um, if there's drum issues, they take care of that. All she has to do is have the paper. But the, the place that she leases her printer from, that company takes care of the rest, which might be something to really look into. If you have the space and you can put a big printer in your, um, in your home office, just something to consider, especially since regular printers, the brothers I was talking about are scarce. So just know your options, do your research and consider that 
as well, all right? So obviously you want the printer. You also want to make sure that you have toner on hand. And my opinion again, but please, if people have a different opinion on what I'm about to say, please inform us, put it in the comments. My opinion when it comes to the toner is do not use cheap toner. I've tried it. My husband, um, he's like a really a go-getter type person. And his mindset has always been on owning, having his own business. And so he has his own business. My mindset before this was always working for someone. And so when I told him that I wanted to do this job, that I wanted to be a loan signing agent, he got all excited. I was like, oh, she's going to work for herself. She's going to work for herself. And so he went out and bought two printers and then bought um, a big case of toner. And the toner, the price of that toner was too good to be true. I mean, we spent like $144 on the case. The case came with something like six to eight boxes of toner. Now, if you've been in this business for a little bit, you know that $144 can be one toner all together, depending on where you got it from. So to know that you got six to eight, unheard of. So we tried this, this cheap toner and before long, there were spots everywhere on my documents. I spent more time um, shuffling through the documents to see what was acceptable and what wasn't. In the end, I was getting so frustrated because there were times where I was in a rush, like I had a, a rush appointment, and I'm now spending a lot of time because there are ink marks all on the documents. And I am feeding, going through a 100, 150 page document, trying to figure out what documents aren't good enough and reprinting those documents because there was ink and toner all on these documents they were leaving they were leaving marks it was just it was just a nightmare <laughs> but i also understand that there are some people that have um, had a good experience so if you've had a good experience with cheap toner please put down in the comments what brand you're using because we all want to know but right now my current opinion is do not use cheap toner because you'll be wasting your money, you'll be wasting your time, you end up wasting your paper. Like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the headache. Also, um, like I said, you want two toners. Therefore, one is in the printer and one is waiting for when you need it. Therefore, you never run out. And as you keep using one, you get the other. And you just keep uh, replenishing your supply. At least two. I suggest more, but at least two on hand. And then you also want to have at least two drummers, or drums, excuse me, two drums on hand as well. Um, I had a brother drum and there was something wrong with it. It was defective. I contacted, I think I got it from Staples. They sent me a new one, but then I had to wait for the new one to come in. Well, luckily for me, I had one that was already on hand. I could just swap it out. So I'm suggesting that you have at least two drums on hand as well. Obviously, you need paper. Uh, I suggest you have several, at least two cases of regular paper and at least one case of legal. You don't, you, you're not using legal nearly as much as you're using the regular. So just make sure you have enough on hand. Obviously, you need pens, blue and black pens. I ha I do have a um, affiliate link down below for the blue and the black pens that I use. I really like the smudge um, proof ones because if you have signers that write with their left hand, it it does not smudge. Whereas there was some other pens that I had and it would smudge all over it and it was just bad. Okay. Um. You obviously are going to need your notary journal, which in some states you don't, but I suggest you have one. It is um, a way of covering yourself. If ever, ever anyone wants to know what documents you notarized, and sometimes it happens, sometimes they um, subpoena notaries to come to court for 
different cases, you just want to make sure you're covered regardless. So I suggest a notary journal. I do have affiliate link down below for that as well. And then of course, an accounting software. Love, love, love Notary Gadget. Love it. Um, Notary Gadget helps me with my invoicing. It helps me with my calendar. It helps me with my taxes. Like I love Notary Gadget. Um, and I do have a video on that. But there's also Notary Assist. Notary Assist is very similar to Notary Gadget. Um, again, I think that one is like $9.99 a month. But look into that. And like I said in the other video, I do believe the first 15 signings you put on Notary Gadget and Notary Assist are free. And then it will start. They want you to kind of feel out the product, see if it's something that you're interested in. Um, and if it's not, then that's fine. But... It certainly is helpful to me. My goodness, I I could not do this job without using Notary Gadget. I tried in the very beginning with um, Excel for a snippet of time, and it was a, a nightmare trying to keep all of that information together and just trying to keep it all together. It was just a nightmare for me, but. Some people are very um, skilled in Excel. And I, I like to think that I'm pretty good in Excel, but there were times where I only wanted certain information. I only needed to see certain information, and so Excel was not doing it for me. But some people are very successful with Excel. And obviously, you can also use QuickBooks. I don't have any experience with QuickBooks, so I can't give you much of an opinion. Um, the other items that you're definitely going to need, pretty obvious though, you're going to need reliable transportation. You're going to need reliable transportation in order to get to and from. There are going to be times where you're going to be in the dark. Um, you're, you're doing signings at night. You're doing signings way out in the middle of nowhere. You're going to need reliable transportation so you are not stuck uh, in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I know that some people use Uber just that with with uber you have to know that there's going to when you're ready somebody's going to be there to pick you up okay now of course if you live in an area that has subways and all of that then you can figure that out but you definitely need reliable transportation the other thing is you're absolutely going to need a good cell phone so if you know that at a certain part in your state um Singular, mm, singular, not singular. Mm, I am aging myself. Uh, I don't even think it's Sprint anymore. T-Mobile, there we go. <laughs> uh, T-Mobile, if you know that T-Mobile does not do well in a certain area and Verizon does or vice versa, then I highly suggest you change your um, phone plan or change your, the, your phone company because you don't want there to be any issues. You don't want to be missing phone calls simply because um, T-Mobile doesn't work in a certain area or Boost Mobile doesn't work in a certain area. You don't, the other thing is, it's going off of your uh, GPS oftentimes. I use my GPS on my phone and I don't want to get in, in an area where I don't get good service and so the GPS just drops. And now I have no idea where I'm going and what I'm doing. <laughs> so you want to make sure you have very good cell service so that your GPS does not drop. Um, obviously, you need a computer and a laptop. I have a computer at home, but I also have a laptop that I use for hybrid closings. And so you just want to make, if you're going to take hybrid closings, you need some kind of device so you can make that happen. Uh, I would suggest either a small laptop or even a tablet. People use that as well. And just see if it's compatible with the signing service in their portal or their platform that they're using. Um, let's see. Obviously, you're going to need, you know, whatever licensure or commission that's needed in your state. So that would include um, if you uh, your notary commission, any E and O insurance, background check. If there's um, some states require a bond, just whatever certifications you're going to need, get that first. Get that first out of the way. Um, 
therefore you can start, you know, working on all the other things. So yes, that's what I have for you today. Those are the many, many supplies, and that's not even all of them, but <laughs> those are the main supplies that you're going to need in order to be a successful loan signing agent. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you all later. Bye.